Today was a special day for a Lincoln organization that gives people a second chance. A groundbreaking ceremony was held for a project looking to address housing obstacles. Specifically for those who have served time behind bars, but who are now trying to better their lives. Channel 8's Veronica Barreto has more. What all started as a dream in 2017 has now become a reality. 20 tiny homes will be built right here near 27th Street and Layton Avenue. The project's goal is to provide affordable housing for men and women who were previously incarcerated and are now trying to be a contributing member of the community. This was just the type of project that we imagined could help move the needle for our community members. We're so proud to have pioneers like all of you making this possible. The nonprofit's executive director says the total cost of the project is about $2.3 million. But thanks to donations, they would only have to pay for half of that money. We've raised already with grants and private donations about $350,000. And so we needed a little bit more to get to our million dollar goal. Some companies like White Castle Roofing will be donating part of the construction. We're planning on doing at least four metal roofs for them next year to help build these tiny homes and get people permanent housing. These past summer, Channel A talked to some neighbors who said they had big concerns about the project. They said there aren't many people who would feel comfortable living next to people coming out of the prison. Mattingly says there will be a village council which will decide who stays in the homes. She says neighbors will play a big role. Having the neighborhood involved and having a member on that village council is definitely going to keep the relationship positive and um, keep it successful. The project needs to be completed within three years as part of the negotiation with uh, the city. Construction is expected to start uh, sometime next year. Reporting in Lincoln, Veronica Barreto, Channel 8 News.